Hey guys, it's Tech back here with another video. In this video, I'm back with my Galaxy Note 2. And this has a Galaxy Note 3 ported ROM. So, if you swipe up from the bottom, you go into your, uh, what do you say, your magazine or whatever it is. Where you have your news feeds, which is your, like, flipboard, which is really neat. And then if you go over here where you see I said it has personal, which is images and stuff. Um, forgive me, I still haven't got my tripod. Went to the store, didn't have any, and I'm kind of sick as you can hear. Uh, social, if you link to your social up here, click right there. You have phone. These are basically quick um, access to different apps. Your phone, camera, text message, Google search, and your apps. So, there you go. You can see that there. A little bit. The ROM is basically the same as the Galaxy Note 3. If you, you have your toggles up there, you can go here and do your two-handed down. And it works. So, I'm going to go into settings and show you a little bit different settings here. As you can see, at the top, the toggles are different. It has connection, device. Um, controls in general instead of what it has on the Galaxy Note 2 and um, now it has Wi-Fi tethering which is already broken for you NFC all that's the same there if you go over to device and you scroll down you see it we get a little different stuff notification panel you get right there I'm sorry again for being sick guys uh, under control we have S Pen, air gestures air view air command motion palm motion smart screen increased touch sensitivity so you get some new ones there as you can see there hands free under generals you get uh your accounts your all that stuff here and then if i go to about phone you can see this is the uh l900 this is the sprint uh, variant of the galaxy note 2 and then it hit, there it is again, HP SPH-L900, Android 4.3, and Galaxy Note 3 mod version. And then there's the date that it was released and from the developer. Alright, so let's hit the home screen there. And as you can see, the Note 2 app is now the Note 2, the Note 3 app. Is just running on my note too and so if I hit there and save and then um, let's go back to my books you can see I have the note 3 books here and the interface is the same as a note 3 um, I really haven't been getting errors now when you save this it gives you an error but it saves so it really does I don't really know why that's there maybe it'll be fixing the update but as you can see now it saves and it says <laughs> sorry guys so you kind of seen it it went away but it had an error and it's still saved if I go there everything that I did is still there so I don't know why the error is there there it is unfortunately and it goes away so maybe that will get fixed um, in the update dated version um, another thing is when you get this ROM, there's stuff that's already um, put in folders like all your Google apps, Galaxy Plus, which is there's your scrapbook from the Galaxy Note 3, and uh, sketchbook, sorry. And then if we continue to scroll over, we have a preloaded folder for Samsung. And so if I click on that folder, I have Action Memo. Sorry. So I'm loading Action Memo. Action Memo actually does the same thing. It gives me an error, but it actually works. So I don't know why, again, why it does that. Why it gives me the error, but it actually works. And there it gives me the error again. And when I load it, don't show again, and search. So my handwriting wasn't that good there, but it was still able to pick up that I wrote yahoo.com and it is loading into yahoo.com as you can see there. If I click the home button, that's still there. However, it's going to be there until I actually delete the note, which is kind of weird. 
Um, another feature is if you press the home button again, it will take you back into the um, news feed, the flipboard, the magazine thing. And then, so I showed you guys the action memo. And there is scrapbook on here somewhere, if I can find it. I'll go more in detail with these apps. I'm just trying to go over everything and get everything out the way really quick. So maybe it's scrapbook is not on here. I thought I seen it on here. I thought I used it. But if I find it, I will um, go ahead and make a video. Oh, here it is, scrapbook. There we go. And I had it gotten air with scrapbook as well. And um, there we go. So I did scrapbook there. I just took something and put it in the scrapbook. And um, I could share, add in tags, and stuff like that. So that's just a really quick uh, overview. This video is five minutes long, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it right now. Um, stay tuned for more videos on the Note 2 and Note 3 port. Also, stay tuned. I will be getting an iPad Air, AT&T, the, the 32 gigabyte version, within either Tuesday or Wednesday. So uh, stay tuned for the unboxing and videos on that as well. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Follow me on Google Plus, uh, on Twitter. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.